NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 graphics card specs, performance, price and availability, everything we know so far. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 will be the next generation mainstream gaming graphics card. Offering the latest graphics architecture based on ADA Lovelace GPUs. The graphics card will be replacing the RTX 3050. A very popular gaming graphics card in the sub $300 US segment, which is aimed at the mass consumer segment. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 graphics card, purely designed for enthusiast gamers, updated the 22nd of May 28. While there's no denying the enthusiasm around the higher-end GeForce RTX 4090. GeForce RTX 4080 and GeForce RTX 4070 series, or even the more mainstream RTX 4060 graphics cards that offer the best of the best gaming performance. The RTX 4050 series graphics cards will be designed around the $250 US segment which is a mainstream priced range aimed at the budget gamer who wants the same features as higher end cards minus the performance at a much lower price point. It's simple. The RTX 4090 series will be aimed at users who want the best of the best without worrying about the amount of money they are spending while the RTX 4080 series is aimed at users who want the best performance at the best possible price. The RTX 4070 will be the sweet spot for high-end gaming while the RTX 4060 is designed for the gaming masses at a price that will be hard to ignore given its performance. And the RTX 4050 is aimed at those who want to enter the new series at a budget-tier pricing without losing the next general feature set. Just like the generation before it. The RTX 3050 managed to offer performance close to the RTX 2060 but was hurt by its 128-bit memory interface. The RTX 3050 did offer better performance, features, and value. At MSRP, versus its competition, the RX 6500 XT but it took months to reach a price close to the MSRP. Overall, the RTX 3050 was a 1080p focused and esports aimed graphics card and the same should be expected of the RTX 4050. The 50 class segment is the share cow for Nvidia and it's definitely something that Nvidia wants to have priced right in its given performance. We should expect similar things with the next generation gaming solution too but an important factor to consider is that GPUs are becoming more power hungry and more pricey. It is a trend that might continue into the future as we get better products but in return, there's always a cost to pay for end consumers. So starting with what we know so far. First we should take a look at the brand new ADA Lovelace or AD10 Asterisk class GPUs that will be powering the next general GeForce RTX 40 series cards. NVIDIA's AD107, ADA Lovelace, GPU, entry tier focused next general chip starting with the GPU configuration. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 series graphics cards may utilize both AD106 and AD107 GPUs. We don't think there would be a T configuration in the lineup as we didn't get that during the Ampere family but it could change. The reason I mention both AD106 and AD107 GPU for the same card is that the RTX 3050 did the same. The card was produced on GA106 GPUs before GA107 became widely available in the market after its mobile debut. 
The RTX 3050 was always meant to utilize the GA107 GPU but Nvidia made good use of the GA106 dies that couldn't reach the yields required for the higher-end cards. The GPU is said to measure around 150 mm2 and will utilize the TSMC 4N process node which is an optimized version of TSMC's 5 nm N5 node designed for the green team. The Nvidia ADA Lovelace AD107 GPU is expected to feature up to 3 GPC graphics processing clusters. This is the same GPC count as the GA106 GPU. Each GPC will consist of 4 TPCs and 8 SMS which is the same configuration as the existing chip. Each SM, streaming multiprocessor, will house 4 sub-cores which is also the same as the GA106 GPU. What's changed is the FP32 and the INT32 core configuration. Each subcore will include 128 FP32 units but combined FP32 plus INT32 units will go up to 192. This is because the FP32 units don't share the same subcore as the IN32 units. The 128 FP32 cores are separate from the 64 INT32 cores. So in total, each subcore will consist of 32 FP32 plus 16 INT32 units for a total of 48 units. Each SM will have a total of 128 FP32 units plus 64 INT32 units for a total of 192 units. And since there are a total of 24 SM units, 8 per GPC, we are looking at 3072 FP32 units and 1536 INT32 units for a total of 4608 cores. Nvidia AD103, ADA Lovelace, Gaming GPU, SM, Block Diagram, Image Credits, Copeat 7 Kimi, Moving Over to the Cache. This is another segment where NVIDIA has given a big boost over the existing Ampere GPUs. The ADA Lovelace GPUs will pack 192 kilobytes of L1 cache per SM, an increase of 50% over Ampere. The L2 cache will be increased to 16 megabytes as mentioned in the leaks. This is an 8x increase over the Ampere GA106 GPU that hosts just 2 MB of L2 cache. The cache will be shared across the GPU. Finally, we have the RAPS which will stick to 16 per GPC. You are looking at up to 48 RAPS, the same as the current GA106 GPUs. There are also going to be the latest 4th generation Tensor and 3rd generation RT. Ray tracing. Cores infused on the ADA Lovelace GPUs which will help boost DLSS and ray tracing performance to the next level. Overall, the ADA Lovelace AD107 GPU will offer same number of GPCs as GA106 GPU plus 20% cores versus GA107 GPU 50% more L1 cache, versus Ampere GA107, 8x L2 cache, versus Ampere GA107, 50% more RAPS, versus Ampere GA107, 4th gen tensor and 3rd general RT cores. NVIDIA AD107, ADA Lovelace, Gaming GPU Block Diagram Mockup, Image Credits. Semi-analysis, do note that clock speeds, which are said to be between the 2 to 3 GHz range, aren't taken into the equation so they will also play a major role in improving the per-core performance versus Ampere. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 Series Preliminary Specs 
graphics card NAME NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 GPU name AD107 Ampere GAR 106 to 150 Ampere GAR 107 to 300 Process node TSMC 4N Samsung 8 NMDIE size approximately 150 mm 2276 mm 2 GA 106 transistors TBD 13.2 billion GA 106 CUDA cores approximately 30,722,560 TMUs ROPS TBD 4880 30 seconds tensor RT cores TBD TBD 80 20th space clock TBD 1552 MHZ boost clock TBD 1777 MHZ FP32 compute approximately 14 teraflops 9.1 TFL OPS RT TFL OPS TBD 18.2 TFLOP's tensor top STBD 72.8 tops memory capacity 8 gigabytes GDDR6X 8 gigabytes GDDR6 memory bus 128 bit 128 bit memory speed 20 gigabits per second plus 14 GBP's bandwidth 320 gigabytes per second plus 224 gigabytes STGP tilde 150W 130W GA 106 115W GA 107 price MSRP Fe tilde dollar 249 United States dollars 249 US launch availability 202,327 January 2022 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 graphics card specifications NVIDIA may or may not offer two variants of the GeForce RTX 4050 graphics cards. That depends on whether they have enough chips or defective dies at hand to turn into discrete graphics cards but we know that there is indeed going to be an RTX 4050 graphics card. The laptop side may see more configurations but for RTX 4050 on desktops, we can expect the following specs. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050, expected. Specifications based on NVIDIA's decision to do a mix of AD106, AD107 or Go AD107 across its RTX 4050 series lineup we can see up to a total of 3072 cores. The AD107 GPU will come packed with 16 MB of L2 cache and up to 48 RAPs. The clock speeds are not confirmed yet but considering that the TSMC 4N process is being used, we are expecting clocks between the 2.0 to 3.0 GHz range. The higher than usual clock speed bump comes from the fact that NVIDIA is making a two-node jump considering the Ampere GPUs with Samsung 8 nanometers node was in reality a 10 nanometers process node with some optimizations. NVIDIA is skipping 7 nanometers and going straight for a 5 nanometers node and not even the vanilla variant but an optimized version of it. With Pascal on the TSMC 16 nanometers node. NVIDIA delivered a huge frequency leap and we can expect a similar jump this time around too. As for memory specs. The GeForce RTX 4050 is expected to rock 8GB GDDR6X capacities that might come at faster 20 plus GBP speeds across a 128-bit bus interface for over 320GB per second of bandwidth. The thing is that you can either go 8GB for such a graphics card in the given 128-bit bus or cut down to 96-bit for either 6GB or 12GB configurations. 
The GeForce RTX 4050 graphics card is also said to rock a TGP of around 150W which is an increase of 30% over the RTX 3050 on the GA107 GPU. This is a massive TGP increase and the performance needs to be really good for NVIDIA to keep its efficiency numbers up. As for its feature set. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 graphics cards will rock all the modern NV feature sets such as the latest 4th gen Tensor cores, 3rd general RT cores, and the latest NVENC encoder, and NVCDEC decoder. And support for the latest APIS. They will pack all the modern RTX features such as DLSS, Reflex, Broadcast, Resizable Bar, Freestyle, Ansel, Highlights, Shadowplay, and GC.